Yo, welcome to Containing Luxury. Today, myself and Danny are gonna be going over the labor costs of a container home. Let's get started. On a lot of our videos, people keep chiming in. So now we've, we've done the video where it was uh, the cheapest you could build a shipping container home. There's so many different things. And this is what you're gonna find with just general construction everywhere is that the prices can drastically change. So again, we're gonna use uh, a specific model to discuss you know, this build, which in this video, we're gonna be covering our three container home build. So I've already done a construction cost estimate for that specific build. So if you're building something different, it can drastically change, but we're gonna use that one so you guys at home can figure out if this best stuff applies to your build. But with that three container home build, we're, we're putting one container on the outside, one container on the inside. Sorry, my dogs are deciding to make as much noise and walk around and chew their bones. One container on the outside, one container on the other outside, and one container straight in the middle. So essentially making a square. It's gonna really rectangular, but close to square. That's the simplest build because then we can build our stem wall, which is just a perfect square. It's super easy. It's um, you know the quickest, most efficient build that we could design. When I'm looking at that build, I wanted to do a construction estimate, which would give you guys an idea of the breakdown for the cost of materials versus labor. And this is my estimate for myself. Um, so when doing that estimate, I, I figured that the most important thing I should share with you guys is we're in South Florida. South Florida is, really expensive to build things. Not only because we're in a hurricane zone, but there is a ton of money down here. So people are building extravagant $50 million homes and they don't care what things cost. So when that's happening and there's big high rise buildings and condo buildings getting built and, and everyone has endless deep pockets around here, contractors generally start to jack up prices. So everything costs me way more down here than it might cost if you were somewhere else. Just as a rule of thumb, when I'm discussing this stuff, I'm gonna go through the general rule of thumb for construction costs if you're in a standard place, not like California, South Florida, or New York City. Your numbers are gonna be drastically inflated to other places in the, in the country. But a general rule of thumb is take all of your materials, times it by two and add probably 10 to 15%. And that's a realistic construction budget. If you use that as a starting point, I think you'll be able to budget yourself really well for the project that you're doing. If you try to pinch pennies on every single number, when you go through and you add your construction estimate together and you, you don't even factor in tax and the gasoline that it takes you to drive to the store. You know, if something costs me $75, I'm putting a hundred because realistically I got to pay tax on it. I got to drive to the store. So take all your numbers and, and use real numbers because there's going to be something you forgot. And when you add up all those construction costs, then you're going to need to multiply that by two. Boom. There's your labor add 10 to 15%. That's a general construction rule for really quick estimating. If I'm building a bigger scale project and as a licensed general contractor, my estimates go much more in depth than that, but you can get a ballpark using math. So back to our construction build of our three container home. I, I added up all my materials for the three container build and I was for simple math around $30,000 into hard material costs. Uh, I might be a little bit closer to 35 um, when everything's said and done, but for simple math, I'm gonna break this down for you. I'm about $30,000 into material costs, and I estimated about $70,000 into labor costs. You can tell mine's, mine's almost three times, it's not just doubled, the, the cost uh, that I just gave you for you know, a general rule of thumb. And that's because we're building in a hurricane zone and I'm using all licensed professionals. So when I call my plumbing company, it's a plumbing company that's dealing with the same customer base as I am in South Florida. So prices are drastically inflated. So for me to call to get a plumber out to a rental property, it might cost $250 just for the guy to get out of his truck to go look at it. 
where if you were somewhere in middle America, the plumber might swing out for a service call of $75. So it costs way more here. So my, my plumbing bill, I used you know some astronomical number, which is not gonna equate if you're somewhere else. Quick intermission. So as you guys know, Blackout Coffee, sponsor. They were so kind as to send us a bunch of their different flavors for the season. So we have peppermint mocha, it's holiday season. Remember, great gifts for all your coffee drinkers out there. They've got a bunch of flavored coffees. I don't think we discussed that before, but we got peppermint mocha, butterscotch toffee, jazzy, jazzy java, it's quite tasty, and a bunch more on their website. And always remember that there's a promo code for 10% off and the free shipping in the description, link in the description. So check that one out. Make sure to use the link so it applies. Down here, three container build. I'm about $70,000 labor. I'm about 30 to $35,000 materials. That's gonna break me down to, I'm, I'm adding, I'm also gonna factor in a 10% additional just for miscellaneous, anything I might run into. So I'm estimating my project to, for a three container home to cost me about $110,000. That does not include the purchase of the land, any impact fees, and anything else, my permit fees, anything like that. So that is just construction of the home. And people wanted me to talk about, okay, well, what are the typical costs when you factor in the land and impact fees and permits? I can't even say anything about that because you might be buying a $10,000 lot and the next person's lot might be $5 million. You know, it's, there's no way you got to factor that. You got to look at your own land, talk to your building department and find out what your costs are in that city because you could be two miles down the road and it's a completely different factor than, than the other person. So you gotta figure that stuff out on your own. We can only cover what general construction is gonna cost. Really guys, can you stop playing? Hey, don't bite each other. Puppies, now they just stop and stare at me. With, with my cost of $110,000 construction budget to build this three container home, being that we're using three containers, we're approximately 960 square feet. That 960 square feet at the cost of a, between 100 dollars and $110,000 for construction puts us approximately $105 to $115 per square foot. Now, if you're in middle America or even Northern Florida, anywhere but South Florida, California, or New York City, of course, there's other major cities stuff that are gonna cost a lot as well. But generally people will probably chime in and say, oh, I can build a house for $90 a square foot. Great, we can't. <laughs> we can't do that here. So in South Florida, a price point of $105 to $115,000 for a single family home, new construction, is really good. That's super inexpensive. Um, you, you look on Zillow, you look on uh, just shopping real estate, you can easily be into the uh, $300 a square foot when buying a house that's existing. So building a new construction home at about $105, $115 a square foot, really good value. You can probably turn and flip that house. Now, again, I'm the contractor, so I'm not factoring in the 20% or even higher with some general contractors. So we're doing a ton of work. So if I have a full-time job, it's gonna be really difficult for me to be out on this job site managing all of the subcontractors, getting material orders received, dealing with the permits and the city and inspections. So if you're not the builder, you're gonna have to add at least 20% onto that and that's gonna be your cost because you gotta hire a general contractor to manage your project. And it's really a full-time job. So my cost may be different than your cost and that's where you know, if you add in 20% uh, onto that simple math, and that's why we chose this three container bill because it was as close to $100,000 as possible. It's very easy to figure out costs using that type of value. So with 20% added on to your $100,000 budget, then that pushes you closer to the $120,000, $130,000, which then increases your price per square foot, probably closer to $125, $130 a square foot. Still really good value. Um, there's not too much you're gonna find in South Florida that you could build something for that price point.
that is about everything I could basically explain to anyone that is not a general contractor of how to figure out what something is going to cost you in construction. I hope I made that simple. It's a lot of information. And again, I cannot stress enough that there are gonna be so many variables in this. So this is purely to be used as a general rule of thumb of coming up with your own construction estimate. But based on where you are, your cost could be higher than this or lower than this. This is just our, our median line, simple way for you to come up with that. Anything else? Hit the comments. We hope this information has been useful to you guys. If it is, make sure to subscribe and like our channel because we appreciate it and it allows us to be able to give away information to you guys. So uh, thank you again. Oh, by the way, we hit 20,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone uh, for getting us to the 20,000 subscriber mark. It's only been, I think, six months or something. And it's really shown us that the information that we're giving away is, really, Teddy? Come on, hey, don't scratch the door. I'm kind of trying to film right now. So it really shows us that the information that we're giving away is useful that you guys are following along with us and that we're actually contributing to something. So thank you to everybody that's supporting us. In the works, we may have a couple of other new construction container homes. Uh, those ones aren't 100% yet, but I'm hoping they will be soon. But either way, we're, we're a young channel, we're growing, and we have a lot more new fresh content coming, so it's gonna be really cool in the next couple of months. Uh, make sure to check out any of our previous videos. We're also gonna be talking about timeline here soon on uh, our construction estimate, how long it's gonna take us to build that project in where we are. So anyway, see you guys in the next one. Thank you again to everyone for your subscribing. 20,000 is a big mark. We'll see you on the next one.